Sound design is one of the most important elements in a video editor's toolbox. Here's a snippet of a short film I edited just a couple weeks ago without sound design. And now here it is with some sound design. In this video, I'm gonna show you my entire workflow for creating sound design in Final Cut Pro using one of my all-time favorite apps, Soundly. Ever since I discovered Soundly, I've been using it on every single video project. And so when the Soundly team reached out and said, hey, can we throw money at you to talk about this app you already know and love? I really couldn't say no. That being said, I have talked about Soundly numerous times here on the channel completely for free, no affiliate commissions or anything. So you do know that I genuinely love and use this product. So this is why I love Soundly. Before, when I wanted to add some sound design elements into my videos, I would jump over to Finder and let's say I wanted to add in a low rumble, I would search low rumble, and then I would get this big messy collection of sounds and I would just play through and try and drag those into Final Cut Pro. But Soundly is way better, not only because it's way faster at searching through your sound effects, but also it introduces hundreds of thousands of other sound effects on top of the collection you already have. Let's say that I wanted some whoosh sound effects. I could just type in whoosh, and just like that, we have loaded in 14,014 plus results using Soundly. So Soundly is not only searching my local drive, which I've imported into the app, but it's also searching through places like Dropbox, which I've introduced. It's searching through the Soundly library, which is included with the pro plan. And it's also searching through internet archives like freesound.org. So between all of these collections being brought into one place, it makes it so fast and easy to find the exact sound effect you're looking for. Now that I've loaded up these whoosh sounds, I can go ahead and select one and just see how it sounds. And those are all sounding pretty cool, but I feel like I want something more in the low end. Now, I could go searching through this list of 14,000 if I wanted to, or we could filter this search even more. So let's go up to our search, and I'm just going to type in low, and now it's going to give us a whole bunch of low options. So once I've found some sound effects I like, I have many different ways I can treat these sound effects. One is to simply favorite it. Maybe it's a sound effect I plan on using a lot. Well, I can just go over to the left side and click on the star icon and that will favorite it. And anytime I want access to that sound effect, I just jump over to star. Another great way is with collections. This is specifically helpful for, let's say you're working on a TV show or you have a client that wants a specific style of sound for all of their videos. Well, we can come over here to the left side, right click on a collection, create a new collection, and let's just call this the client. So now anytime I want to add sound effects to that collection, I can just simply click and drag it over to client. Now that I've added a sound effect to that collection, that is the most recent collection I've worked from, and I can actually just use a keyboard shortcut to add a sound effect. So I can go ahead and click through. Oh, I like that one too. I'm gonna push C and now that has added that to the client collection. So you can go through and find hundreds of thousands of different sound effects for your client and keep adding them with C. And when you're ready to use these sound effects, you can jump on over to your client's collection and see them all listed here. So this is an amazing way to organize your sound effects based on what you need for your own videos. And you can see I've even got some whooshes and slice collections here on the left side because I use those a lot in my own particular videos. So now that you have the basic sound of working with Soundly, let's go ahead and start to introduce some of these sounds in your videos over in Final Cut Pro. So to create our workflow, let's go ahead and throw this into docked mode and that will drop it down here at the bottom. From there, we can open up Final Cut Pro and I'm just gonna shrink the bottom down so that we can see Soundly underneath. So this just makes it really easy for us to see both our timeline as well as Soundly for searching through all of our sound effects. From there, we can go ahead and start searching up. So let's go to the very beginning of our video, and I'm going to look up Deep Rumble. And it's given us a whole bunch of options, which we can, of course, play through. I like that one quite a lot. And this is where the magic of Soundly happens, because not only is it incredible at finding hundreds of thousands of sound effects, but it's also incredible at bringing those sound effects into the video editor of your choice. 
So for example, if I wanted to get this ominous drone up to my timeline in Final Cut Pro, I don't need to export or do anything like that. All I need to do is just click and drag it like any other file up to my timeline. And just like that, we've brought the sound effect into Final Cut Pro. So now we have this nice deep rumble and that's looking pretty cool. Maybe I want to introduce a bass drop. So let's look up bass drop. I happen to know that I really like bass drop 25. So let's just use that one. Now, again, I could just simply click and drag the sound effect up to the timeline. Or another option is this incredible new feature that Soundly just added for Final Cut Pro users, and that is the ability to send the sound effects directly to Final Cut Pro. And it's super easy. All we need to do is locate this icon. It might be in the lower right corner if you're using a full size window, but we'll click on this icon and you can see that I can send it to stuff like Logic and Studio One but I can also send it directly to Final Cut Pro. This is on the latest version of Soundly, so make sure you have that downloaded for this feature to show up. Once that is selected, we can go ahead and just push S. The very first time you do this, it's gonna bring up this small dialog window asking for some extra options. So for one, you can send it as a connected clip or directly to the primary storyline. For sound effects, you pretty much always want it to be as a connected clip. So I just leave that setting as is. Additionally, you can go ahead and expand this out and have some more options here. So for one, you can set your Final Cut Pro library. So if I had multiple libraries open, I could select the exact one I wanted. You could also change the FCP event. So if you wanted a sound effect event, you could create that. You could also set the audio roll, and this is super helpful being able to just set that directly to effects. Now, I personally don't want to bother with all of these settings every time, so I'm just going to go ahead and disable those. I found that this feature works best when we just use the defaults. After that, I'm going to go ahead and press don't ask again. You can re-enable this dialog later in the settings if you want to, but then we'll push OK. And just like that, we dropped in the bass drop on the timeline. So again, I'll show you how fast this is. Let's park our playhead at the very beginning find the sound effects we want and I'll push S and just like that it's up on my timeline. So you can very quickly go through and drop a whole bunch of different sound effects here on the timeline and those will be added over into Final Cut Pro which is absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these bass drops and we'll just keep the one I have at the beginning. Maybe I'll lower the volume on it a little bit. That's looking pretty good. If we play through the rest of the video there's this moment where I have this title up here on screen. And just so you know, this entire title sequence is supposed to be a parody off of like an Avengers movie, Star Trek, Star Wars, all of those things combined into one. So I just built this in Apple Motion real quick. And now we're adding the sound design here using Soundly. So you can see I have this title up here. It looks super cool, but there's just zero impact to it hitting the screen. I've added a marker for where we want to add that sound effect. So let's go ahead and look one up. I'm going to just type in deep impact and we can see all the different sounds loaded up here. That one's pretty cool. And I also like that it's labeled as space, which we are in space. So let's just drop that on the timeline with S and just like that, there it is. Moving ahead, we have this little UI element type on the screen. So let's just type in something like tech UI type and see what we come up with. Here's a bunch from the Soundly Pro collection. Actually, that one's great. So I'm gonna just push S, get that on the timeline. It's going to continue downloading it. So it's local to my computer. Let's go ahead and push play. I want it to stop right as the text finishes. That's looking good. Let's push Command B to create a cut. And then I'm gonna just drag over here to the second portion where more text comes on screen. And then I'm gonna trim that right side down. Let's move on to the next element, which is going to be this UI element. And I'm going to actually trim off this deep rumble of space here. And then I'm going to fade that out. Then we can go ahead and start looking up our UI. So let's just type in tech UI. And I actually know that Soundly itself has a lot of really great ones. Ooh, I really like that one. So let's introduce that. And this brings me on to another awesome feature of Soundly. And that is, you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of options from this one sound file, but you can clearly see where those are split up. Now I can choose to bring over just one of these segments over into Final Cut Pro super easily. One way to do that is to just click and drag over the portion you want. And then I can, of course, push S. Another option is to enable segments so I can see the different sections of each sound and just click and drag that segment over to Final Cut Pro. 
So that's super cool. Lots and lots of options for getting your sound effects directly on your timeline, which means you're going to be editing that much faster. Let's go ahead and add in some deep tech whooshes. Now, I could come down here and totally change up all of my search, but maybe I want to have multiple tabs to draw from. I know I'm going to be using a lot of UI elements for my sound design, but I also know I'm going to want a lot of tech whooshes for this next segment. So I'm just going to click on this add button and type in tech whoosh. That one's pretty cool. Let's see what this next segment is. I like that. So let's just drag that onto the timeline here. And I want that in this moment here. Very cool. Let's also add another tab. I'll look up tracking. Really like that one. Let's get rid of the segments and actually just select the entire audio file and push S and that'll be great. We can introduce that. Let's drop the volume on it and we can go ahead and duplicate that with option, click and drag in Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna select both of those and push Command G to put them in their own storyline. Very cool. Let's go ahead and also look up another tab here for glitches. And I'm not finding quite the length of sound effect that I need, so let's just change these to sort by length. This is really cool. And again, this is from the Soundly collection itself. So just having that collection on its own is totally worth the money. That's why I love being a Soundly Pro member. And I'll just go ahead and introduce that throughout the duration of this tech moment. From there, let's go ahead and find some more UI sound effects, maybe some more transitions. Let's do tech whooshes and find out what we've got going on here. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Let's drop that on the timeline with S. That's a really good one. I just want this section, so I'll push S, get that up on the timeline. That's a cool one. Let's find that for another UI element. I like that sound effect a lot. And in fact, maybe I want to find more sound effects that sound just like that. And that's another super cool feature with Soundly, and it's finding similar sounds. So what we can do is come over here to the right and click on this icon, and it's finding similar. And this is going to look through all of the various libraries. You can even have it search through your local libraries to find sound effects that match that, which is super cool. Oh, this is super smart. It's looking at magic spell sounds, which I originally wouldn't have thought of that as being a techie whoosh sound, but it actually works quite well in this instance. So we'll just drop that up. Very good. Let's use this one. That's a really good sound effect. Let's go ahead and add that in for when it finds the tracking complete. That one's pretty cool. Let's drop that in. And let's also add in a tech impact. So just like that, we added all of this sound design from Soundly over into Final Cut Pro. This experience is really so much faster than trying to work with Finder or even the built-in sound effects tool in Final Cut Pro. So now that we've added in all this sound design, we could go ahead and license some music from one of our places to get music. And altogether, it looks something like this. So as you can see, the sound design really brings so much to this particular video and it would be absolutely dead without any sound effects. Now, of course, I could go into Finder and try and click and drag these over or I could go online and download a whole bunch of sound effects and try and add those to my videos. But Soundly makes this experience so seamless. And I barely even showed you all the features that Soundly has with stuff like voice designer. Let's say, for example, I want it to say target acquired. Well, I could type in whatever I want here. I'll just say target acquired subscription initiated. From there, we can choose what language. So if we want them to sound more British, which obviously you have to do so they sound more intelligent. And then from there, we can change the voice. I just like this Abby voice. I'll say any crazy thing that you want me to. And from there, we can go ahead and adjust the speed, pitch, and where it's placed in our environment. So right now it's set for a PA system at the airport, but we could change this over to something like a phone on loudspeaker. And let's go ahead and press speak it. 
Target acquired. Subscription initiated. And I misspelled initiated, so it read that incorrectly. But let me go ahead and just adjust that. And we'll press speak it. Target acquired. Subscription initiated. Perfect. Now that we've got that, we can go ahead and just push S on it. And it will drop Target. it over into Final Cut Pro. And then we can push this wherever we Target. want. Target acquired. Subscription initiated. Make sure you check out the links down below. You can use the free plan of Soundly, which gives you the ability to upload up to 10,000 different sound effects and allows you to use all of those amazing search features and collection tools. Plus, you can even use the voice designer up to 25 times. So the free plan is awesome. But also, the people over at Soundly are incredibly generous and they've hooked you up with a three-month free plan that you can try out and you don't even need to put in any credit card information. So make sure Use the links down below to take advantage of that huge, huge thanks to the Soundly team for sponsoring this video and for making one of the very best apps for video editors.